Hey everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys two effects, both which can be used for various purposes. In the first one, we'll recreate an effective but extremely simple effect that can be achieved in no more than a few simple steps. Using a few opacity changes in background, an effect like this is easily created. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first step to this tutorial is to import your background or image. So I just pasted my in using Control V, or you can manually do it using the menu. Anyways, once you've got that in and resized to your composition, you want to create a new layer right here. And you want to go edit, fill, and make sure the contents is white, then blending mode is normal. And the opacity, let's make this around 40. All right. Now you want to go to make a text layer and you want to make a new one and name it anything you like. Usually it'll be relation to the picture, but it's up to you. So center this around here. And we are going to click on the text layer and the second layer we just created and click Control G. That groups the two layers together. Now click on the text layer Go effects and blending options. And now let's change, turn the opacity down. Say around 64, yeah. And then go to knockout and change it from none to shallow. And now you can see it's much more easier to see. And you can move it down a bit more. And depending on how you would like your effect to look like, you can alter these percentages. So let's go to the second layer. Let's change the opacity to maybe around 70. Or around 30. Yeah, like that. So you can see it looks pretty nice. 50 actually. Yeah. So depending on what you're trying to create or what you have in mind, you can change the settings as much as you like. So, um, yeah, so without further ado, let's move on to the next tutorial. So for our next effect, we're going to once again get another image for our project. And once we have imported our image manually or automatically, we can create a new text layer and call this speed. Now depending on your effects, you can use black or white for your text color, but I'll use black for this. I'll tell you the reason why in a sec. So once we've got our text layer set centered, we're going to grab our image layer and move that above. Now I'm going to right click and simply click create clipping mask. And there you go, you can see that looks really nice. Now obviously you can see the white is kind of interfering with the text, and that kind of makes it difficult to see. However, however if I change the opacity of this text layer, of, of the image layer, it's probably much easier to see right now. So you can adjust it to your preference. You can see right there. Now this is why I chose black instead of white, because due to these um, collisions, if it was white, here, then the whole layer will just decrease. So that's how the clip clipping mask works. So I kind of prefer um, black, the color black. But this is obviously to your preference depending on what image you're using. And yeah. So, anyways, you can see how it's really nice. I personally really like it, and I really hope you do as well. You can also try to um, move the image around depending on where and what type of location you want to be visible. In this case, probably the car will look cool. Now I can kind of grab it. And yeah. So those are two really simple but effective effects that you can use in your um, art, in your banner, in your graphic design, anything you like. It really fits in with a lot of purposes.